Today, we're gonna make some Thai food. We're gonna make a Pat CU. It's definitely one of those dishes I love when I go out eating in a Thai restaurant, but I never thought it was possible to make it at home until I saw Gordon Ramsay's videos of stir frying, and I was appalled by this white man using olive oil to stir fry. I'm like, we can do better than this, man. So let's get it. So here are all the ingredients. You got your garlic, chicken, Thai chili. You don't really need the Thai chili, it adds a kick. A little bit of chopped up jalapenos. You also don't need that. Broccoli. And of course you can use broccolini or gai lan, Chinese broccoli. And of course your vermicelli noodles. These are the kind of thin, you know, glass noodles. We call it funsi in Cantonese. But you can use any type of thickness. And now let's make ourselves. It's very simple Thai sauce. You're gonna do a little bit of soy sauce. It's a special Thai seasoning sauce that my friend Jazz at Jitlata Thai recommended me. It's quite salty. Let's just give it like uh, two, two spoons of it. And of course you need our fish sauce, three crabs, my favorite brand. Usually my soy sauce to fish sauce ratio is two to one. So I'm just gonna do one of that because it's very salty. You don't want too much of it, okay? And now we got a little sugar, brown sugar, white sugar, whatever you want. In Thai food, you kind of want that sweet tanginess all together with the saltiness. So we're going to mix that all in. And now I have a little, just standard black pepper, white pepper, Asian white pepper will actually work a lot better in this dish. But hey, we got to work with what we got here, man. Okay, this is it. So now we got our little stir fry sauce. It depends how much you're making. This is just a portion for myself. So I didn't put that much. So of course, just double everything. If you wanna make your own portion. Oh, I forgot something. Oyster sauce. The oyster sauce, the classic Chinese oyster sauce. This is a must. I'll give it about one spoon of it. Yep, that's good. That gives it a little sweetness and a little umami. See, I made a mess, that's okay. Just gonna wipe it off, lick it. So now we got our stir fry sauce. First, we're gonna cook our vermicelli noodles. I got a pot of hot water here. It's not boiling, it's not burning. All you need is just some hot water and just soak these babies in there for two minutes. That's all you need. Break it up a little, soak it up. It's super, super easy. It's very easy to overcook. That's why you don't want boiling water. You just wanna soak it in kind of hot water for two minutes. Today I had to do it, man. I had to bust on my walk today. You see how it's all smoking, got the oil in there? That's nice and hot, okay? You don't need a wok to make this dish. You can just use your non-stick pan, anything. But I think a wok would be appropriate in this situation. So first, we're gonna put in our chicken. Fry that up. I'm gonna put a little soy sauce in there just to color the chicken and season it. Like I always do, I'm gonna season it step by step. All right, it's gonna be real nice. Let that cook. You wanna make sure you got your ventilators on so you don't down trigger the smoke detector. And while that is cooking, I'm gonna throw in some of my garlic that I had earlier. Bam. You don't, you don't wanna put the garlic in too early because sometimes it burns up with the wok. So you wanna mix it with something like the chicken or the vegetables, all right? You just let that cook. You can really smell that aroma. Once again, you don't have to cook it all the way through yet because we're gonna do the rest of the cooking in steps, right? So you let this cook for a bit. Now I'm gonna put in my Thai chili peppers. This is gonna get some smoke in your eyes right now. Not too much, we don't wanna go crazy. And you can always get a chili pepper sauce later, so you don't wanna put too much here. Get that going, just keep stir frying it. And now we're gonna crack an egg. I actually forgot to show you the egg earlier, but we're gonna do it. So we're just gonna crack it right in the middle. You wanna break it. We're not making a sunny side of egg here. So just break it all the way through. The egg's gonna bind everything together and kind of brings out a lot of flavor, you know? 
you always see a little egg and the fried rice and then the pat siu and stuff like that, pad thai, because it helps as a binding agent and it's just delicious. I'm gonna give it just a little more soy sauce. I want to add my vegetables. I got broccoli or broccolini, whatever you want to use. Some jalapeno just for that extra flavor and kick. <coughs> Woo! Whoa, that kick got to me, man. But that's totally up to you. You don't have to put jalapenos and you can use broccolini or anything you want. So right here, I'm going to add just a little touch of sesame oil. Add that nuttiness, that smokiness, a little more soy sauce. And now we're gonna throw the noodles in, bam! Now you see the noodle is just kind of clear and plain. So now we're gonna add our mixture of sauce that we made earlier. This is gonna give it some really nice color when we mix it together. So check this shit out. See that? That is taking shape, man. See, you already got a nice, real nice stir fry color and it's starting to look like a real dish. How about that? That looks really amazing and nice. And it's starting to smell real good too. So once it all mixes, that's about done, you know? I'll just kind of let it cook down, get a little char on the bottom maybe. Just, just, just let the wok do its work. That looks really nice, man. You got all the colors, you got all your proteins and veggie. And you see how nice these noodles are? They're also glossy and saucy. See, when it comes to stir frying, a lot of your work, work is done with cutting and seasoning before you put in the wok. Because once you get into the wok, everything goes pretty fast. This is ready. And now it is time for the taste test. I'm actually very excited about how this came out. The color and everything looks pretty good, man. Restaurant quality good, I'm talking about. And the egg just kind of got flaky enough. Some some people prefer bigger pieces of egg, but I actually don't mind this. Let's see. Mmm. Wow. That's actually really good. Because we soaked the noodles and we didn't boil them, it remained the texture, right? And you run it over cold water. It's actually pretty spicy. All I put is two bird's eye chili and then a little jalapeno. Let's try this. Mmm. I just love broccoli in a stir fry because it really soaks up all the flavor of the dish, all the sauces. This is a very, mmm. It's a very, very successful homemade pasillo. If I had the time, I'll actually make some like vinegar with peppers. You know, those peppers soaked in vinegar, that's actually a really good move. And if it's not salty enough, you can always do fish sauce with peppers. That's really, really good and easy. This is good. It's very successful and very easy, right? And you can use any kind of noodles, any mixture of red vegetables, as long as there's some kind of crunch to it. And of course, you can do beef, pork, chicken. We did it, guys. A little simple pasillo. Mmm. 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 Three years ago, there was a movie called The Great Wall starring Matt Damon. If somebody would have offered me a lead role in a movie called Mount Rushmore, I will play the shit out of George Washington, you know what I mean?